Hey guys, so it makes me so happy to be finally able to say this that the B1 B2 appointments are now available in India. So many of you have been DMing me, messaging me over the last one year and finally I can tell you that the business and tourist visa appointments are now open in India after about 2 years. However, it's not all that straightforward. It's going to take you some amount of your time and effort to find these appointments. And this video is going to be a compilation of all the latest updates, the techniques, hacks, and some of the insider tips which will help you get these slots. So keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots and lots of useful videos on the US visa process. There's an entire playlist for the B1 B2 process, so make sure that you check it out. Also, more content is coming your way for B1 B2 visas, so make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon. With this said, let's get into today's video. So before we start, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that it's going to take you some amount of time to find an appointment, so plan your travel accordingly. People who have been able to give their appointments, or rather people who have been able to give their visa interviews in the month of March, were looking for these appointments since December. So we can say that roughly, it's still going to take you about Two months or so to find a B1 B2 slot. So you need to plan your travel timelines accordingly. Of course there have also been instances where people have got really lucky and they've been able to find an appointment almost instantly. But as a general guideline I would recommend that two months is a fair period of time it is going to take you to find an appointment. So if you're planning to travel in the summer of this year that means that you need to start your US visa process right now in March. Also, going forward with the pandemic seeming to be in control and the embassies opening up more of their operation, this expected wait time will also come down gradually from about two months to about one and a half to one month. Now, before we go into the actual techniques of booking a slot, it's really important to understand a concept, and this is fresh slots versus cancelled slots. So, fresh slots, also known as bulk slots, are those which are released by embassy in large numbers, and these are usually released across all locations or all embassies in India. For example, in August 2020, we saw that bulk slots were released for the F1 or the student visa category, and there were about 10,000 slots which were released across all the locations in India. Post that, we've seen that bulk slots have been released every now and then for work visa categories such as H, N. But very few of these bulk slots are being released for the B1 B2 category. In fact, over the last three months, we saw this happen just once or twice. And whenever these bulk slots are released, they are usually released at the start of the business day, that is between 7 a.m. in the morning to 10 a.m. in the morning. So, if you're looking for a B1 B2 appointment, you definitely need to check once in this time slot of 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now, apart from these fresh or bulk slots, there is a whole new side to this story, and this is called the cancelled slots. So, cancelled slots are those slots which come into the system when somebody cancels their existing appointment. So let's say that somebody had an appointment for a B1B2 category and they cancel it, then that slot gets released and comes into the system. Now, it might seem that how many such cancellations do actually happen, but the truth is that quite a few cancellations do happen. A lot of people either reschedule their dates or they simply cancel their appointment, which means that you have a good chance of catching these cancelled slots and getting an appointment. In fact, most of the appointments which happened in March for the B1 B2 interviews were from these cancelled slots. So next we look at specific techniques which will help you get these cancelled slots. If you're still here, if you're still watching, do let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and do leave a comment below say B1 B2 category. Yes, comment down below in the comment section and say B1 B2 visa so that I know that you're still here and still watching the video. So the first technique that I want to talk about is multiple logins. Now the US visa system allows for only limited number of logins per day per account. To be precise, you are allowed just three logins per day and you are allowed a maximum of 12 clicks, which means that in every login, the number of clicks that you're doing are also being tracked. And the moment you exceed the number of logins or exceed this number of clicks, you start seeing a message that you're approaching the maximum number of limits that is allowed for your account. And if you continue to click or log in beyond that, your account gets frozen. So keeping this in mind, it's really important to be strategic about the login attempts that you have. And one great way to hack this is to have multiple logins. 
So to have multiple logins, what you can do is to team up or tie up with somebody else who might be looking for a B1, B2 appointment. So let's say that you are looking for an appointment and you have a friend who is also looking for an appointment. So team your logins together and spread them out throughout the day. Make sure that both of you are not checking on the same day or at the same time period. This way you'll be able to track the system for a longer period of time and the moment any one of you sees that there is a slot available you'll be able to go and log into the system and get that for yourself now i really think that it's important to understand a few more nuances or a few more hacks about the system so that you can be really smart about your logins the first thing to keep in mind is that the system resets itself at 9:30 am ist so if you're wondering that okay when do my login attempts start and when do they end it will start whenever you log into the system but it will automatically reset at 9:30 am ist the second is that the number of clicks are being tracked so don't do too many back and forth when you are into the system let's say that you already checked for location availability at the mumbai mc and it's not available so now you go to hyderabad and then you go to kolkata do not go back to mumbai so avoid back and forth as much as possible because this a increases the number of clicks that you are doing and second also gives an indication to the system that you are spending way too much time here and hence increases your chances of getting blocked out and the third thing to keep in mind is that if you see an error message or if you see a message that you are approaching the maximum number of limits or logins that you are allowed and if you get blocked out then leave the system idle or rather just get out and leave the system alone for 48 hours straight what will happen is that post 48 hours it will automatically reset everything and you'll be able to log in again however if you try to log in again and reattempt after getting blocked the system gets blocked for 72 hours altogether so if you don't want to be blocked out for a longer period of time make sure that as soon as you see any kind of error message or any kind of maximum limit message leave the system alone for 48 hours straight I know these are a lot of technical details and a lot of specifics about the system but trust me these are the methods which actually have worked so if you're really keen and really serious about planning a US visa trip in the upcoming months then do keep note of all of this the second technique that I would like to cover to get you an appointment is time hacking so since the cancelled slots can get released into the system practically any time of the day it's really important to hack this time and make sure that you have your bases covered so to do this, make sure that you don't check for the same time every day and try to check at as many random times as the system allows you. So let's say that one morning you checked early morning, then the next day maybe you can check late night. So basically make sure that you are tapping into the system at different times of the day and don't repeat the same time every day because this is going to maximize the basis that you're covering and help you in getting an appointment. So the third technique that I want to talk about is tracking. Now, remember the first point we mentioned that multiple logins increase your chance of getting a visa appointment. Now, wouldn't it be so nice if somebody actually tracked the availability of these slots for you and just let you know when a slot opened up? Well, believe it or not, it's actually happening and all this is happening via the magic of Telegram groups. So, there are a number of Telegram groups which, uh, which track the availability of even B2 slots. And in the description box below, we have compiled a list of these groups. These are the ones which we have found to be most active and also one where there is a lot of traction and a lot of people are actually uh, giving out the information about the availability of slots. So I would recommend joining as many of these telegram groups as possible for you and do take the inputs from them and try to uh, utilize this and try to log into the system as soon as you see that a slot is available. So a lot of you do DM me and ask me that which other telegram groups I should be joining. So this list is compiled very neatly in the description box below so you can take a look and on this note also i do have a telegram channel so on this telegram channel i bring out a lot of latest updates and these are usually the latest news uh, the latest hacks latest interview tips so you can join my telegram group as well the link is in the description box below these were the three techniques which will help you in getting a cancelled slot or a cancelled appointment. Apart from this, like promised in the beginning, I also want to talk about some insider tips. Now, these are the tips that I have uh, observed purely out of the experience of helping so many people get through their US visa interviews and very, very closely monitoring and tracking the system. The first insider tip is language. 
So when you book an appointment, it asks you to select a language and you're given English, Hindi and a lot of other regional languages as well. Now, a common perception is that it's uh, better to go with a regional language because maybe there are few people opting for it and hence more chance of getting the appointment. But it's actually quite the contradictory. Do not select any of the regional languages because you almost have a zero chance of getting in the point if you select a regional language. Make sure that the language that you select is English and with this English language you have more opportunity and access to a bigger pool of slots and hence more chance of getting a visa appointment. The second hack is about the location. So in India, we have US embassies across Chennai, Hyderabad, uh, Mumbai, Kolkata and New Delhi. But most of the B1 B2 appointments have been used only in Kolkata and New Delhi embassy. So what I would suggest is that for the next two months, do not even bother trying or checking for appointments in Hyderabad or Mumbai embassy and just purely focus on Kolkata and New Delhi embassy because this is where you have a maximum chance of getting an appointment. And the third insider tip is an emergency appointment. So I think not a lot of people know this, but actually emergency appointments are also being given for B1, B2 visa category. So let's say that your travel aid is to attend any urgent business meeting, or it is to do an observership program, or anything for which you have the valid proof, for which you have an offer or an invite letter, then you can also request for an emergency appointment. And there's a good chance of this getting approved. So I have an entire video which explains how emergency appointments are booked. You can take a look at that. And if you want my help in drafting the emergency application, do reach out using the link in the description box below. So these are all the updates and all the techniques and insider tips compiled into one video to help you get a B1, B2 appointment. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you need help in filling your DS-160 form, I have a really useful resource for you. This is called the DS-160 Toolkit. And this is a 45 minute video guide, which will take you through all the pages of the DS-160 form. So filling the DS-160 is extremely, extremely crucial and you need to get it right. So do check the toolkit link in the description box. Also, if you want my help in preparing for your interview, feel free to get in touch for a one-to-one -one session. The link for this one-to-one -one session is also mentioned below in the description box. That's all for this video. I'll be bringing more new updates, latest visa news with respect to the B1, B2 category. And like I said earlier, a lot more useful content coming your way. So make sure that you subscribe, press the bell icon and stay tuned. Signing off for now, I'll see you in the next one.